Hey guys, Ivan here with an update about tragic passing of Luke Sando. It's now basically confirmed that the reason of his death was in fact suicide. He did take his own life and it is extremely shocking and it is really, really sad. These past couple of days were really tough on bodybuilding community. I hope he rests in peace and I hope his family, his children, his wife and also his dogs are gonna be fine. If you're willing to contribute to help his family, there is a GoFundMe. I will leave the link down below. So if you want, you can help out and give back. Nothing is gonna be the same without him. Not his family, not this world, bodybuilding world especially. Let's just hope he rests in peace. Here is a clip of himself in a podcast where he basically gave us signs that he was battling something. That he had some demons inside of his head. That he was having some problems. So, take a look at this, guys. It's the one at a time. What are your first thoughts of the day? When you wake up, what's the first thing you think of? I'd rather not say the real answer, but I'd probably... Come on. What's the real answer? No, no. Tell, tell us the real where's the, where's the pussy cat? Say, what, and then I say, what time is it? I don't want to think, where's the dog? If I have I rolled on him? And uh, What's the real answer? Is it? What's the real answer? <laughs> Luke, you can't fucking do this to us. That's the real answer. <laughs> no. Come on, come on. There's nobody listening. It's just, just us. It's just us. They're off air. We're off air now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Right, no. What the fuck? Is it that top secret? No, I just thought... I, I just thought no, it's just... It's, it's, it's some, some things are better left unsaid. Is it really gay? Is that what it no, is? It's a bit, <laughs> no, no, not really. No, it's, it's, been, it's been like that way for like... It's quite morbid, so I don't really want to say it. Morbid? It, fuck! Is sake. it really gay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's morbid. That's even worse. Fuck. It's morbid. Yeah, I don't. I, after if this, we if there, we I'll get if out. we guess, will you tell us? No. What the fuck? How are we going to find out then? Luke wakes up. You're not going to. That's why I'm saying. Let's. What's the next fucking question? I'm really annoyed that I don't know what your your thought or first thought of the day is. I'm really. It's really bothering me. It's a real it's, puzzle. It's, isn't it? it's a bit like James. It's like um. It's like. James um, told us. James told us he peed the bed for twenty years, man. That's how seriously exactly. we we got. And you can't even tell us. I got deep for today, and you didn't even. Yeah, give well, me that's, this. that's up to you, mate. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> up. I, 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 I pay somebody to tell these things to. <laughs> you motherfucker. Do you, tell, do, you have a ther- do you have a therapist? Yeah, I do. You now. do? Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Huh. How often do you see him? Uh, I was. I, I mean, before this happened, it was more, It was supposed to be once a week. Why do you have a therapist when you have me to talk to every week? I can help solve all your problems right here. Listen, I saved your marriage, and now it's time for me to save myself. <laughs> you did not save my marriage. <laughs> uh, no, it's, can't it's, be it's, hero. it's you can't be everyone's hero. You can't be everyone's hero. You've always got. I think it's just important to have somebody because I, I don't. I don't know how to even convey what I mean, let alone feel most of the time. Oh, so you you have somebody that can help you kind of articulate things and get it get it out kind of yeah because i don't yeah. really know what to make of anything because it's it's probably it probably goes back to the adhd thing when i'm even when i'm thinking of things deeply i get distracted by a different thought like are you the my, kind of guy that doesn't know how to articulate your feelings or does it want to i i want to more than anything and i can't more than anything but is it because yeah. you're shut is it because you're shut like some well, people like, well, some people yeah, are like, some people like, are literally like, shut off and they don't it takes you have to open like I've, I've i've been in the in like you say i've like been in a like in a relationship with, then it's perfect and i just go ah uh, i can't do this and i just fuck it off yeah <laughs> it's like it normally it normally comes as like self-sabotage because it's like yeah like it's like i don't even know how to be happy yeah yeah i it's, get it i get it what i mean no, I, know exactly, I know exactly what you mean. I think, that, I think that's a very human thing for, yeah, for yeah, everybody. But yeah, it's a very... It is. Yeah, and it's crazy. like... And I, I've been... I've had... I've had... um, Like... I had, I had like special needs at school, basically. I had like... Um, te- I had somebody sitting in with me in classes. I had to go to extra meetings every day. I had like... Not a shrink, but somebody that I talked to every day. Like anger management kind of things. All for yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was mostly because they didn't want to put me on any medication for anything. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Which is actually what I'm looking into now. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. A lot of people have a negative connotation yeah. with. Uh... I've I've never tried it, and um, and I was um, before this whole virus thing was gonna, was kicked off. I actually was booked in to have some actual tests done. Mm-hmm. I'll see if it was. There was. I know a lot of people. 
I know a lot of people take uh, Paxil or Zimbalta or Zoloft or any of those like. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, if I don't like it, I don't have to do it. But if I do it and it works, great. If it doesn't, then I'll just, you know, I'll crack, I'll crack on with something else. The doctor, my, my doctor tried to put me on, I think it was Zimbalta or Zoloft. I can't remember which one it was back in the day. And I didn't, I didn't want to do it. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think, to me, I think the only problem is people that don't try every other option first. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, obviously, you have. I mean, the thing is, I mean, a lot, a lot. I mean, I've got a lot of friends, um, and they're always, but yeah, you can talk to me about it, about anything. It's like, well, I can't really because a lot of this shit, I don't actually want you to know. Guys, this is very sad, and you could say that this was a sign that Luke was battling something. He felt like he couldn't talk to anyone about it, and he felt like there was no way of getting out of the situation. I feel like mental health is something that people don't talk about enough in bodybuilding. Maybe because we are more focused on the physical health aspect. But mental health is just as important. We are focused on looking like we are in a great shape. Maybe to an extent where we forget about having our mental health and emotions to be in great shape too. Guys, it's very important to remember that we are not alone in the world. And to remember that we can talk to others about our problems and what we're feeling. It's not a sign of weakness. And even if you feel like no one understands you, people do understand and you really don't know what someone might be feeling inside. Guys, there are also suicide hotlines out there that are helpful to talk to if you ever feel like going through something that might seem impossible to overcome. You can overcome it. Stay strong and don't be afraid to talk about it. I'm going to put a suicide hotline number in the description. I personally lost several friends due to suicide. And I know how shocking it is when it happens. And you're shocked because you didn't know that the person was hurting. You wish you could have done something. So please, do not hesitate. Just talk to someone. I really hope that Luke is at peace now. My prayers go to his family and his friends. Rest in peace, Luke Sandow.